Hello viewers, welcome to Mojo Fund Industry. This is Neha Wagale reporting from Renewex 2025 happening at the Chennai Trade Center. We are here with a brand that's synonymous with quality in solar, Swilex Energy Systems Limited. Joining me today is Mr. Uday Kamath. He is the Vice President for Channel Sales at Swilex. From launching high efficiency topcon modules to building a strong OEM reputation, Swilla continues to raise the bar in the renewable energy industry. Also today we catch up to learn how the company is scaling its presence all over and what new innovations they are bringing to the table this year. Hello there sir, welcome to Mojo for Industry. Yeah, good afternoon and thank you for having us on board. Sir, Swilect is always known for uh, quality and upgrading the standards. Speaking about standards, uh, could you tell me what are the exhibits over here at Renewex 2025? Yeah, and the exhibits we have are our, our, our present manufacturing range. Is uh, we have the monopark range of panels, solar modules we call it, and then uh, topcon range. Topcon we have uh, 5, 580 is one size, and then we're going to the higher size, which is 650 watts size. So these are the new products we have on display from the module factory and from the BOS plant or balance system plant we are going to have our ground mounted uh, mounting structures and also rooftop structures and then we have the electrical AC and uh, DC DBs also on display. Oh okay sir, so uh, at REI Mr. Raghunath had mentioned about the 1 gigawatt uh, plant. So I would like to know where do we stand today and uh, what are the future plans? The 1 gigawatt plant is fully operational now, uh, REI it was the uh, initial stage of that plant and now considering the uh, good uh, growth uh, in India, we are doubling up the capacity, adding one more gigawatt of module line and then we will also plan to add a cell line uh, soon. But the module line will take priority because the demand is right now uh, quite good for the modules. Also, Swilex uh, strength lies in three things, uh, which is, you know, mod mod module manufacturing, the IPP and turnkey projects. Uh, so, which of these has be, uh, seen the most momentum in the past year? The most momentum is obviously the module uh, manufacturing plant. Uh, it's seen a lot of good momentum compared to the year. The year on year growth has been very good. And so, based on this momentum is what uh, we are planning to expand the plant also. Uh, so speaking about expansion, what exactly are you uh, trying to expand? Like the 1 gigawatt that we uh, spoke about, is it going to a higher capacity? The 1 gigawatt plant is what is on right now and we are going to expand in the same uh, location another 1 gigawatt and then uh, that's in this plant and then we're adding in the BIOS plant we're going to add another uh, set of roll forming machines to increase the capacity there also. So, you know, we're trying to keep up uh, with the demand of modules and the structures together. And that, and uh, in the projects, uh, we're like, trying to expand our footprint in the IPP and uh, a group, a capex, uh, the group capital schemes, we're trying to expand our facility. And uh, we're looking also to slowly develop uh, uh, round-the-clock power through uh, so wind, uh, solar and uh, energy storage. That's our next uh, plans. Uh, so, how about your channel partner programs? Every year we add about uh, 75 partners we add to the network and uh, we also have a national distributor on board and we also have a uh, partner for our uh, finance also, Eco5 we are for the finance of the partners. So, you know, it's, it's going in a good way. Could you put some light on the circular economy uh, uh, thing which uh, Swilect has? Circular economy is basically one once you, once you manufacture as per the government ROHS uh, policies, uh, you are you're not allowed to scrap the panel for a certain time. So we kept it, uh, we have to stock it with us. And then uh, there's going to be a policy rolled out with clear guidelines in terms of uh, what, how you should recycle these panels. So we're working one or two recyclers al uh, already to see that these plans are being put in place as okay. per government norms. Okay. What are the strategic plans uh, for the your financial here? Can you put some light over there? Yeah, strategic plans is to develop, uh, to grow in uh, new areas. Uh, and there are areas where we are not uh, ventured off in bigger projects, uh, high, large megawatt projects. We are, we are doing megawatt projects, 15, 20 megawatt types, uh, single projects. Now we want to venture into bigger projects there. And energy storage and on the clock power are the strategies to develop. This is because it's in norms of the government policies. Uh, you also have to have, uh, pick up um, solar map plants to have at least 10% to 20% energy storage part of their uh, 
uh, roll out so we are you're on track for that and i wish swelek all the very best for uh, achieving all these things that you have achieved in the past as well and all the best uh, for uh, your milestones ahead thank you very much thank you so much sir it was great uh, having you over here with us thank so viewers swelek energy system continues to stand tall as a beacon of quality sustainability and innovations in india's clean energy journey whether it's expanding module capacity growing its ipp footprint or embracing green practices like recycling swelect is clearly building a solar legacy to all our viewers thank you for tuning in today and stay tuned to mojo for industry for more exclusive updates and interviews from renewex 2025 also please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel for such awesome content